Hello everybody and welcome to a new series where I take a look at games you may be blissfully unaware of. This time I'm taking a look at Black Mesa. Black Mesa is a remake of the 1998 hit Half-Life, where you take on the role of Dr. Gordon Freeman, not to be confused with Morgan Freeman, arguably the least likely person in the world to bash in anybody's skull with a crowbar. You begin on the tram, destined for the shittiest Monday morning imaginable. Your colleagues nominate you as point man for a dangerous and highly unpredictable experiment. Spoiler alert. Predictably to everyone except you, the experiment is a complete clusterfuck, opening a portal to another dimension and allowing some intergalactic Jehovah's Witnesses to firmly jam their foot in that portal before anyone can slam it closed. Most of you are probably all too familiar with the plot, but for those who aren't, congratulations on waking from your coma. Bill Clinton is no longer president, but his wife probably soon will be. You start off unarmed and have to run away from everything like a Turkish president during a military coup. Pretty soon you get a crowbar which you wield like an angry SJW attempting to keep dissenting opinions from Twitter. When you discover that Gary Oldman had taken the cameo written for Sean Bean, it becomes too much and your murderous rampage begins. Fighting angry third-wave feminist vaginas with a crowbar is no easy task. However, help is on the way in the form of a trusty Glock 17. Five or six well-placed rounds on target, and you too can prolapse that pussy like a pro. One would be forgiven for thinking that during the early stages of the game, the goal is to rescue your colleagues. However, it soon becomes apparent that they possess all the survival instincts of a goth at a razor blade factory on a rainy Monday morning. It appears that on induction day they were told that a pistol barrel was something one dances merrily in front of. And their strict adherence to the company's social inclusion program means that when the trans-dimensional Jehovah can appear, they rush to greet them with a firm handshake and a friendly hug. This does not give one license to fire blindly and indiscriminately, endangering one's colleagues. Because, ladies and gentlemen, if you take nothing else from this video and learn no other lessons from me, please remember one thing. Black Mesa lives matter. A lot of YouTubers feel that remaking a classic in HD is a waste of time and resources. However, I disagree and I feel their view is nihilistic and futile, sort of like telling Jonathan McIntosh, a radical feminist who can't even persuade his own fleshlight to consent, to grow a pair of balls. The engine and texture upgrades are magnificent. This gives the game relevance to a whole new generation of players and not just the old farts who are sitting around like a bunch of geriatric Brexit voters wondering why their ever plummeting pound can no longer afford them a quick hand job from an underage rent boy in Berlin. Just when you think you're about to run out of trans-dimensional Jehovah kin, the army arrive to clean up the scene. Unfortunately, they're not there to aid with the removal of the Jehovah kin and the rescue of your colleagues. But rather, their attitude to science and scientists is, shall we say, a little bit Christian. Unfortunately, they're not the nice Christians dispensing food and fairy tales to all, but rather the right-wing creationist variety, who believe the answer to truth, science and reason lies with bollocksology and bullets. The combat, which is the core element of the game, while fun, engaging and at times really challenging, is missing one small element which would make it just perfect. That's the ability to look down the sights on all weapons. It's only available on one at the moment, which is the 44 revolver. One could be forgiven for thinking that this game is just a first-person shooter, but that's not the whole story. When interviewed in 1998, Gabe Newell, peace and blessings be upon his name, stated that he didn't want this game to be just a shooting gallery. As a result of that, in between moments of high-octane combat, there are numerous puzzles, some more intricate than others, but all of them are fun. This game is still in early access, but I don't quite know why, because it looks and feels finished to me. In summing up, I would definitely recommend this game. You get hours of gameplay, you get the original Half-Life remastered, and you get a few extra chapters. It's great fun, and has great replayability value. Additionally, this is the only game I know of where one can quite literally find oneself in the shit. Which, coincidentally, is probably where I'll find myself on Monday when I return from Amsterdam to discover that this video, in whose trust I left my significant other to upload, was uploaded with a BLM hashtag. With that, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment or dislike below. Thank you and goodbye.